this guy in here. Div his ass. Oh shit. Get over here, Card. Oh! oh! Let's go! Hey, <gasps> it works! <laughs> we escaped. Oh, <laughs> we escaped. Oh, Let's go. All right, all right, all right. Hey, two, I'm Lucky, and in today's video, I'm bringing you a short and sweet guide on how to insta melt the Grandmaster boss, Cargan in this week's Nightfall, the Insight Terminus. We're going to be utilizing a technique that I've gone over a few times, which is the Omega DPS Void Shoulder Charge technique. And it's even stronger because it's actually uh, Void Burn for this activity. So you get 25% damage boost on top of what we've already talked about before, where you can pretty much one-hit kill dungeon bosses and raid bosses and everything else. So this is so strong. This will shave off several minutes of time when trying to fight Cargan in the Grandmaster this week. And anytime that you find the opportunity to use this, you'll find this helpful in melting past bosses immunity phases because it's so much damage that's done instantaneously. And we know how much Bungie loves immunity phases. So it's really nice to skip past the immunity phase of Cargan where you have to capture the three plates. And then after you've captured the three plates, while all of the cleavers are jumping on you, you kill all those ads, then you can finally damage Cargan again. You can skip all of that, saving yourself a lot of time. And I find this to be really helpful and really fun in this week's uh, Grandmasters, and you can use this for the Master Nightfall. So we got Word of Dawn, we're gonna use the Half Fall, Catapult Lift for Skating, Shield Bash is very important to this. We're gonna use Magnetic Grenade for the debuff. We got Offensive Bulwark, Bastion. Um, I just have Persistence, Leeching, and Undermining on. The really most important ones are gonna be uh, Undermining gives you the Weakening, uh, which can be very helpful for hitting other targets with this. In this exact instance, I'm not using that. I'm having someone use Div, but just keep that in mind. And then we have melee final blow to start health regeneration for your nearby allies. This is actually really important because you're in a grandmaster and it's very hard to stay alive. So you're going to need this. And then we have this one where you have uh, increased overshield uh, duration when you get that. So keep that in mind. That's the uh, all of the subclass stuff I'm using. Then I'm going to be using the uh, one-two punch shotgun. As far as my energy weapon power weapon, you can use anything. This is just what I like to use for unstoppables and then for um, damage to champions and the boss when I didn't have the shoulder charge and stuff. So the next part we'll go over is the armor mods we have well of tenacity and then of course for the exotic we have worm god crest and i'm just using seeking wells because i find it to be very helpful for the wells to come to me and then we have elemental charge which is going to get us charged with light from those wells coming to me and then melee well maker is how we're going to generate those wells in the first place and then i do have heavy handed on so when i do get the melee kill i'll get it back because of those stacks of charge with light but there's a variety of different ways you can do this this is not like the one and only way of doing this. This is just a way that I decided to do this with my fire team. I got 100 resilience, so that way I have as much damage reduction as possible because it's definitely hard to stay alive when you're rocking the void class. It's a little bit harder than the solar with classy restoration. And then as far as debuffs and buffs go, the debuff we're using, we're just using divinity, have someone on your team using that exotic. And then as far as buffs go, we're getting the overshield by placing down the Titan wall. And then we're getting the burning fist buff by meleeing five enemies. And you'll actually notice in this video that Cargan's health was lowered a little bit. We didn't lower him to the immunity phase, but I just wanted to lower it a little bit because I didn't know how strong this was going to be. But you'll notice that even with only Four stacks of Burning Fists, I was able to one-hit kill Cargan when he had well over half his health. So keep that in mind that if you were to actually do the full stack of this, that would be that much stronger. And so the Void Overshield plus the stack of Burning Fists plus the one-two punch, which is going to be really important in this, equals a one-hit kill punch on the Grandmaster boss, Cargan. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to subscribe with notifications on. Smash the like button. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Later. This guy in here. Div his ass. Oh shit. Get over here, Cargan. Oh! oh let's go! Hey, <sighs> it works! <laughs> we escaped. Oh, <laughs> we escaped. Let's go.